So I left work last night and I'm headed home. I'm taking 90 towards 290, and we're getting off right there at the streets of Woodfield. There's a uh, semi in front of me with one of those like wrecker hookups on the back. You know how they can like, it's got like the quick attachments and then you can hook up the quick like hydraulic lines and stuff. This thing had a sleeper cap and everything on it. it looked like it was a big bread truck like this, a little taller, a little wider. It was actually a big heavy duty truck. Looked like from the early 90s, late 80s, like it had been sitting up a while. And the guy had it towed from the rear wheels real high up in the air and stuff like that. Front wheels were on the ground. And as I'm driving behind this thing, I'm I'm starting to see smoke and stuff come out of the front end. Not my life of a dealer tech. You never know when the flashes are gonna go off when somebody's looking for a car. But anyway, um, you're starting to see smoke and stuff come from these front wheels that are on the ground, right? So I'm driving behind this thing, and all of a sudden, that smoke starts turning into like really thick material, like stuff starts falling off of like the brake area of the truck so as i'm getting closer to this truck because i'm going to hurry up and try to uh hit the left lane pass him flag him down all of a sudden you see little flames start to come out around the actual rotors and stuff like that and then globs of stuff start dripping on the ground and bouncing off and like hitting and turning into sparks and stuff so i'm like i gotta just hammer down and go so i kick in the can shift, I downshift, I pass by the guy, I get over, I'm stomping on the brakes, hitting the turn signal, trying to tell the guy, get over, get over, get over, get over, and finally he's like, he's, who is this crazy person, he goes to get into the left lane, and he sees my hand out the window, and I'm going like this, like, get over, finally he pulls over behind me and stuff, and he rolls his window down, I run up on the passenger side, and I'm like, hey dude, that freaking wheel is trying to start on fire back there, man, I don't know what's going on, but you got globs that, like, look like molten, like, lava falling out of the front of the rear and i said i'm a diesel tech i work at a dealership or whatever you jump out and let's go take a look at it real quick and uh, i go back there and the caliper looks like it's locked up solid like wherever he got this from it had been sitting for years and he just hooked up to it and took off and the brake was dragging and eventually with him being on the road so long finally it got hot enough to start to try to catch this on fire i'm going to go in the shop right now and i'm going to show you how we ended up getting this caliper unstuck and I'd probably recommend this for most truck drivers out there. If you don't know about this, if you don't have these tools, maybe it'd be a good idea to get these tools to save yourself in a situation like this. It took me all of two or three minutes to get this man back on the road with this piping hot, like almost glowing rotor, let it cool down a little bit. And then I knocked the caliper free enough to get him on the road so he could actually start to pull away in this thing and not have to worry about it catching on fire. Probably did drag a little bit, but it wasn't enough to really cause any huge concerns, just basically residual drag from uh, the caliper being so rusty, the slide, the guides being so rusty. Uh, let's go in here real quick. And sometimes you may end up damaging one of the front calipers, but I think that uh, offset is kind of just, uh, seeing as you could possibly damage that vehicle further, catch it on fire, other vehicles on the road, or possibly injure yourself. Uh, so I'm gonna go in here, show you the tools that I would use and I'm going to demonstrate how I did it and then you can take it from there uh, no need to criticize me I'm just trying to help out and if it can if it works for you it works for you if it doesn't it doesn't so be blessed the next part I'm gonna voice over so you don't have to hear all the noise and the impacting and stuff in the shop this is actually a uh, 48 ounce Mac Mac daddy anti vibe hammer and this is a just green pry bar with a metal end. Okay, so we're gonna walk over here to this truck and by no means am I even doing anything destructive to this customer's vehicle. This is for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna show you a few strategic points you can tap. Don't beat the crap out of it unless you really, the ends you can hit harder right there on those studs, but there where there's a piston and there where there's a piston, you don't want to hit them that hard. You just kind of want to lightly do it there on the, on both ends. You can actually tap a little harder because there's a, a solid slider that goes back and forth. And then on the outside, when you go to tap it back to the inboard side, you can use the face of it a little bit because it's solid. You can go to the end because it's solid, but make sure you're not actually hitting the bracket part. You're hitting the actual part that slides the actual caliper face just above where I made contact there is where you, that was the actual bracket end. And then what I'll do is I'll take my pry bar and um, I'll actually 
point at the areas where I want to make contact. See there is actually not on the bracket where I initially touched, but right there on that ear, on that meaty solid part, I would tap there and then you could move right there on that metal end. That's why I have this kind of pry bar because it's an impact pry bar. And there on the other end on the actual caliper face itself or the caliper body I should say. And then if I wanted to just kind of evenly do it right there in the center, there's a little solid piece, but you don't have to beat the living mess out of it. And just work that back and forth until it frees up. Now, all these points that I pointed at in this vehicle are contact points that I would try to knock loose. And sometimes you have to hit them hard. Sometimes they're that froze up. Sometimes there's gonna be no, you're not gonna be able to be nice. Uh, you especially don't wanna bust any brake lines or anything like that because if you're going down the road, and it gets hot again and brake fluids all over the place you're gonna have a problem or you could get a little pry bar with a little crow, adjustable crow foot on it and reach in there where you see the brake pads and pull up against those areas even if you damage the rotor and the pads it is what it is uh, you don't want to be in a situation where that vehicle gets caught or catches on fire and it's burning up on the back of your rig and then possibly people behind you get affected by it as well luckily I was able to stop this man and help him out and free that caliper up for him by tapping on the little bolts on the end where the actual slide pins are tapped them forward on both sides and I went to the outside and I tapped them back and then I did the same thing again and I worked it back and forth until it was kind of like centered and there was no real drag I went over and did the same thing on the other side it didn't damage anything luckily but sometimes you could get to a point where you do end up damaging something and he was the the wrecker so there's no calling another wrecker because then you end up dealing with the same thing or you call a roadside service and have them free up that caliper but then again it costs more money so it's up to you this is just something i did with the man on the side of the road and i didn't destroy anything i was very careful about it when i did it uh, because i know what i'm doing but kind of a little psa for the truck drivers out there because i love you and care about you and without you a lot of us couldn't do our job thank you guys be blessed